میرے عزیز دوستوں بھائیوں قابل احترام بزرگوں امت مسلمہ کی مقدس ماں اور بہنوں It is, it is really a great, a moment of great pleasure and honor for me to come here to Croydon Masjid. And uh, the most beautiful introduction that Mawana Yusuf Sahib, Mufti Yusuf Sahib gave right now, may Allah make me worthy of it. And may Allah make us all worthy of it. Um, I did ask Maulana which language does he want me to speak in. So Maulana said 80% of the people over here, they want me to speak in Urdu. Yet, the 20% are still there who don't want me to speak in Urdu. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll speak 80% in Urdu and I'll speak 20% in English. <laughs> Is that acceptable? <laughs> okay. Inshallah. You see, the thing is, I'll tell you. The thing is that you know, when you when you when you're speaking to an audience, mashallah, as honourable and pious as yours, so. When you're, you, I mean, I'm used to speaking in Urdu, obviously, in my in my country. But for the past so many years, Allah Rabbul Izzat has given me the opportunity to travel all over. Initially, when I used to go and I had to deliver a bayan in, in English, so what I used to do was, the problem was that initially I used to pray to Allah, Oh Allah, please, I, because I don't think in English. I don't think in English, I think in Urdu. So what happens is first the bayan used to come in Urdu, then he, there used to be a translator inside. He used to constantly do the translation. <laughs> and I'm constantly translating uh, the, the, the Urdu bayan that I deliver slowly and gradually as time has passed. Allah has made it easy for me. And now, you know, I've, 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 I've brought, it, brought this thing upon myself that I, I, I start thinking in English. You have to think in English, then you can deliver. In, uh, and I tell you, my, my, my brothers and sisters, we must learn languages. Wallahi, we must learn languages. Um, and one of my greatest grievances is that I am unable to speak and understand Arabic. You know, the language of the Quran and the language of the Arabs to whom Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so uh, you know it's a it's a it's a it's a great gift of Allah for us to speak as many languages as we can. So I'll try my best, you know, here and there. Kabi socha apne humne. Why are we here in this world? Why are we here? I have no idea. Why was I born? Where I was born? I just saw my parents, you know, and I was told that they are my parents. For almost five years, six years, I had no idea that I was living in this world. What an amazing thing. I passed out of the world. I'm eating, I'm eating, I'm eating. It's like, you know, a life is going on. Then secondly, I talked about my personal life because I saw my, my father was in the Air Force, so I always wanted to be a fighter pilot like him, you know. I remember when we were young, you know, I used to, when he used to come back from, uh, from, his, from his flying from his office, because me and my brother, we became tall very quickly. My parents were tall, so we became tall very quickly. 
So we used to wear, the moment my father would go to sleep, we would wear his cover all year. <laughs> and we used to go and stand in front of the mirror. And one of us would wear his helmet. And throughout our lives, this is what I wanted to be, a fighter pilot. Then when I grew up, I realized that, you know, I had weak eyesight. So I remember, cleared every exam, cleared every medical test, and I just wouldn't go to the eye specialist. And right at the end, when the officer came to me and he, he, he said to me, you know, all your medical is complete, now you just need to go to the eye specialist. So I, you know, wo Urdu ka ek lafz hai, badal na khwasta. Badi mushkil se, with a lot of difficulty, I went to the eye specialist. <laughs> so when I sat in front of the eye specialist, he asked me a few things, read this, read this, read this. And then he said, wait a minute, son, stop. How badly do you want to be a fighter pilot? I said, sir, you have no idea how badly I want to be. Why? I said, because my father was like, oh, I know your father, father. He said, the thing is, either, there's a, there's a choice that I have. Either I make you a fighter pilot, I clear you right now, or I make Pakistan Air Force suffer great losses <laughs> by getting their planes crash every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just thinking which choice to take. So I said, sir, why? He says, you have very weak eyesight. You cannot sit in a fighter plane. So I remember how much I cried that day. I came back and my mother asked me, my father said, Arre, koi baat nahi, ya, beta, koi baat nahi. <laughs> then I wanted to be a doctor and tried my best to be a doctor, cleared my intermediate with the best of uh, papers and everything, it was very good. Right at the end, when I went for the interview, as I was giving the interview, and this is, this is, jab Allah ki marzi na ho, there were eight people taking interviews. And out of those eight, four were my father's friends. Four of them were my father's friends. The moment I came out from the interview hall, the first thing they said was, they called up my father and he said, I think your son is really not interested in get, going into medical. My father said, what are you talking about? He's eating, drinking, sleeping medicine. He says, no. This is what we've come to the conclusion. He doesn't want to be a doctor. So we will not let him enter the university. And basically that was it. And I couldn't become a doctor. Then I said, what else to do? You know, my Allah ne kuch dhehen zara thoda tez diya tha, mathematics mein zara thoda sa achha tha, do jama do zara kar leta tha. So I went to an engineering university to become an engineer. And I became an engineer by the grace of God. But right in the middle, I met a few friends who would play music. So they started playing music and I would sit with them and they would sing and I would sing along with them. And suddenly, you know, a small group of boys, you know, so started singing in the university and became popular in the university. And then different colleges from Lahore, they started calling these four or five boys and they suddenly became very popular in Lahore. And then someone started calling them from Islamabad and Pindi and they became very popular there. And slowly and gradually and slowly and gradually, Something that I never ever wanted to be. Would you believe it? When I was this boy's age, when I was 15 years old, 16 years old, 17, 17 years old, I would never listen to music. In fact, I used to detest people who, who, who would be listening to music. Because my father always used to tell me one thing. He said, son, there are three things in this world. Studies, sports, and everything else. Studies, sports, and everything else. You can only do two at one time. Either studies and sports, either studies and everything else, or sports and everything else. You can't mix match the three of them. You'll fail in all three of them. So I decided, you know, might as well just take studies and sports. So I had never touched a guitar in my life. 
it was very late in my life that I realized, oh, this singer, that singer, fala, 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 very late in my life. And I even had no idea, wallahi, I had no idea that Allah had given me a voice which could, you know, reach the hearts of people. So, what I did So, when I sang for the first time, my father called me home. He said, son, what is this? No one in our family, no one in our khandan has ever done this, beta. Please don't cut my nose. Meri naak na khat, beta. Ye kama mat kar. Mainne ka, daddy, aapko kya pata? Zamana baut aage ni kar gaya. Hai na, bhai? Inne kya pata? Zamana aage ni kar gaya hai. Ajeeb, ya. Aur ye baat mainne kab kahi thi? 1987 mein. 25 years ago, I said, Zamana, Bhavata Ganakal Gya hai. Times have changed. Daddy, what are you talking about? The way our youngsters tell their parents now. Baldan ko, inki safed daadi dekkar hum beokur samajhte hai, inko kuch pata hai nahi. Bacho, ye daadi inki dhup mein safed nahi hui. Haan. So, if today's time, if today's time, a friend asked me once, a young boy, Junaid Bhai, this is the time of iPads and iPods and some other, I, some other iPhones and Apple. I said, Beta, I remember the times, those were good times when Apple was only used for eating. <laughs> <laughs> now, yes, I know. How do I follow Islam now? How do I follow Islam now? Ajit, three, four things have come. Now, it's difficult to follow Islam now. So, I remember that time when I told my father, when there were no iPhones, there was no mobiles, there was nothing of this sort. I said, Daddy, the times have changed. Now, it's not that time. That we will talk about this. So, Mirazis, dosto, my dear friends, 10 years from now, 10 years from now, those children will say, Daddy, the time has changed. The times have changed. This means that the time of today's time has been old. So, what has been old in 25 years? So, what has been old in 100 years? गुजरे वो भी पुराना हो गया मेरे दोस्तों आज से जो हजार साल पहले लोग दुनिया में आए थे ना वो भी आकर यही कहते थे ये मॉडर्न वक्त है वक्त तब्दील हो गया ऐसे ही कहते थे ऐसे ही कहते लेकिन जो शरीयत द मैंडेट दैट अल्लाह हिस गिवन रसूलुल्लाह सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम that you and I have to understand that mandate is for all times to come. It, Quran is the most futuristic book that you and I can imagine. Quran not only just talks about as long as this world is going to last, it also talks about what is going to happen after this world finishes. So get me a more, get me a more futuristic book. Show me something that, that talks about the life once this world is going to end. And Quran is an Ajeeb book. It's, it also talks about even before this world was made. So it covers the entire our the entire lifetime of humanity. It's the most futuristic book that you can imagine. So, and so is our religion. So is so is Islam. Yes. To humne अपने जज्बात को, our emotions, हमने अपने जज्बात को इस्लाम पर लाना है, इस्लाम को खींचकर अपने जज्बात पर नहीं लाना, इस्लाम को खींचकर iPhone की तरफ नहीं लाना, iPhone को इस्लाम की तरफ ले जाना है, तो फिर ये iPhone आपके लिए बरकत बन जाएगा, फिर ये आपकी जिंदगी, और आपकी जिंदगी में जितनी चीजें हैं, ये सब की सब आपके लिए बरकत बन जाएंगी और अगर खींच के इस्लाम को इसकी तरफ लाने की कोशिश की इस्लाम को इसकी तरफ लाने की कोशिश की तो मेरे ऐसे इस दोस्तों काबा काबा बनाने से तो बड़ा कोई काम नहीं हो सकता 
building the Kaabas. 